Hi family, how are you? I hope you're fantastic. Oh, my head starts to itch as soon as I started that. That's crazy. Spirit, it's funny how it's like, they they just start to talk to me as soon as I turn the camera on. They're like, oh, it's go time. And my whole body starts to feel fuzzy. But anyways, um, I'm doing really good. I just got another shower and clean clothes. Like, God loves me <laughs> so much. I feel so blessed. And when I say God loves me so much, I mean, he loves us all so much. I just happen to have this um, unique perspective of God's love. And I'm so appreciative of it. I've been very comforted in these, we'll call them transitional times. Also, um, I've been, you know, working on filling this new energetic space and making myself comfortable, doing a lot of listening to music, dancing, singing, and I'm starting to see that there's more work to be done in my healing when it comes to revealing my sensual side again and I'm honestly like I'm really excited about it because I don't know it's just something I never expected to be a part of my life I thought that was forever gone and um I finally have a man in my life that I trust to be able to explore that side of myself again with and that's like really exciting it's um unexpected anyways i think that's all i wanted to say let me get some cards and see what universe is dying to say make my head itch over oh here's my glasses okay we have Eighth house, transformation and mystery. Surprise, surprise. And then we have Virgo, the alchemist, again. Okay, so you're bringing in transformation um, in the world of mystery through your alchemy, through your transmutation of pain, basically. Yeah, just as I say that, Pluto, shadow and mysticism, through your transmutation of your pain and anger and all that stuff. But basically pain, um, which induces fear. And so if you process that pain, it takes away the fear. And then we've got the enemy. And we got, you know, we cut them off. Fourth house, home and family. You're manifesting a brand new home and family life. 12th house, spirituality and art. And you're doing this by creating it like from brand new, from your spiritual beliefs and your creative talents. It's all in your unique style. Fifth house, joy and play. Yeah, whatever it is that brings you joy and in, incites, you know, the desire to play. You know, and be sensual, like, and all that stuff. Um, let me get some tarot. Let's see what else the universe wants to talk about. This is fun. Ooh, an ace of wands. Making plans. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot.
These days are so exciting, family. Like, just, I've dreamed about this my whole life. About the world being a better place. The world transforming to a better place. And it's so crazy because by the time I was in my 30s, I had like given up on that dream. I was just like, people were getting worse, not better. And I was just trying to keep the love alive in my heart, you know? But yeah, I didn't, I didn't see it coming to this. I guess I should have, but I had lost a lot of the hope I had for our future, um, thinking that it was going to take my death to escape the matrix. Surprise, surprise. Page of Wands, you got a message coming in? Looks like an exciting one. What's this message about spirit? It's from a king of cups, someone that loves you. Four of pentacles. Looks like this king of cups wants to covet you. It's the king of pentacles again. King of Cups is the King of Pentacles. Or the other way around, I don't know. But we do have water signs in, uh, earth signs out here. There's a death and a rebirth that's happened with this person. They've gone through a transformation. What else, spirit? I swear I'm not trying to be nosy. It's what spirit wants to talk about. Um, seven of swords inverted. <clears throat> this person is not too happy about the way they treated you in the past. They feel like they were unfair to you. What else, Spirit? Two of Wands inverted to the Hangman inverted. This person feels like they should have made plans to come towards you sooner. They wish they hadn't gotten hung up on material concerns, is what it looks like. They wish they would have gone within sooner to find the answers instead of looking on the outside. Now they want to come and give you a cup of love. Unconditional love. Love straight from the divine. This is a divine, a divine um, being, we'll call it. <laughs> I don't know. This is part of the Jedi Force, okay? <laughs> it's one of us. They're connected to God. God is, God is what is spurring them to come towards you. They feel bad because <clears throat> in the past they were lost in the matrix and in depression. It looks like they could have been drinking a lot um, or doing drugs possibly. 
and they just weren't seeing clearly. They feel like an idiot now, is what I just heard. But, I don't know, what else, Spirit? They see you as their lover. They want to, they want to drive it home is what I just heard. The fool, they want to take a leap of faith with you. With God on their side. They're not worried about anything. But the two of you in the bright future that the new world holds. They want to create with you. Build new with you. They want to cherish you, love you unconditionally. What else, Spirit? The Hierophant. They are also a spiritual leader. <clears throat> they want to help you to lead. Help you to lead this military force is what I just heard. They realize their position now. They know their place is standing beside you. Anything else, Spirit? Page of Cups. They want to offer you an apology. for the things that happened when they were in the illusion and when they were under the influence. It was a delusion. This person feels like put it this way, they're taking too much responsibility for the actions that they took in the past. <clears throat> and I'll tell you why. Because this is a guided experiment. Like, there were no other options at the time. The illusion worked perfectly to guide us in whatever direction it wanted us to go. It literally is a program. So you can't take responsibility for things that you did when you were infected with darkness. You can take accountability, but only for the lesson it provided. It was more like, <clears throat> it was more like a lesson and then a test and you passed with flying colors because you made it to this point right here, right now. So basically you performed perfectly and all feelings of guilt need to be dissolved and that goes for everything in life we need to release all guilt it does not serve us anymore it was there for a learning tool 
That was the last level. That's not this level. There's no room for guilt on this level. Our energy is too high. So if you do have things that you feel you need to apologize for, that's fine to apologize. But then let it go because it's almost as if it doesn't even exist. The things of <clears throat> our past don't truly exist in the present or the future. And the present, the present is a result of the energies that you had in the past. And the present is also responsible. The energies of the present are also responsible for the future. So that's what makes the present so important. It's in the present that you manifest. And especially in these times of when you first get bumped up to a next level, that's like your manifestation power at its greatest. So, yeah, get your apologies out of the way, but um, then let it go. What you're apologizing for is for something that your avatar did in an illusion. Now, if you do those things now that you're not in an illusion, then I think guilt would be um, appropriate. And you'll probably get bumped down to the last level is kind of how that goes. Or how I see that. But anyways, who knows? I don't know everything. Anything else, Spirit? Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> You're a healer. And um, you're also the counterpart to the King of Pentacles. We have them both out on the board now. And it's coming in quickly, this Eight of Wands. This could be <clears throat> that you're going to be reconnected through the internet. Anything else, Spirit? Judgment. I have to clarify, clarify that for me, Spirit, please. Reverse Tower. So Spirit God has made a judgment on this relationship that I've been talking about here. And <clears throat> it's basically saying that they're reversing all towers that ever happened in this relationship. Kind of like I was just saying, like it's about letting it go and that it was an illusion. And that's what Spirit is saying, that their judgment call on this relationship particular relationship is they're reversing the towers and they're protecting it. Archangel Michael, God is sitting <clears throat> at the pinnacle of this relationship and absolving all past what is it? Transgressions. Anything else, Spirit? This is going to help you to heal. You're going to be able to heal more fully. 
I think I'm gonna end this here. Let me grab a, um, let me grab an animal card. This is beautiful. Y'all, divine counterparts are coming back together. And it's nice to see. It's really nice. We've come through so much. We've come so far. And we're about to leap into the new world. I'm excited. All right. We got the buffalo. Oh, I love the buffalo. Buffalo's rock in the frog. All right. <clears throat> buffalo, abundance. Abundance and liberation are finally on the way. It comes to you now to remind you of the amazing manifesting power of gratitude. You will always have plenty when you express gratitude for every part of creation. And frog, transition. This is a powerful time of change. You are being called to connect with the world of emotions and feminine energies. You may also need to engage in a process of cleansing, whether it is physical, emotional, spiritual, or energetic. It's transition time, family. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. Play some good music and dance your ass off for me, okay? I love you guys. I'll get back to you very soon. Thank you.